Hey guys, it's me Pastella Nuda here and today I have another deco vlog but this one is different because I'm going to be talking throughout the video the process of me making these squishies and I'm making them for a deco trade for my friend on Instagram. Her username is co.squishies and she's very talented. You guys should go check out her Instagram. But I'm very excited because we are doing a deco trade and I love her art and I really can't wait to make um, these decos for her. We set each other like a list of characters we like and I decided to pick this image for her and I found it off of Pinterest and this is going to be my reference or what I'm going to deco on this toast right here. This is an eye bloom toast and it's the pom pom purine one if you guys could see. But here's just the back. I painted um, the top with just two layers of the white fabric paint. Okay, and then I also wanted to show you guys my sketchbook. And I actually sketch out, oh here it is. Um, so I sketch out the designs that I do, um, just so that I can get it as accurate as I can. Like I've sketched out um, multiples in the past, like when I did these two for commissions. Um, I think it was in my previous vlog when I painted both of these. But okay, So I'm going to mix some gray paint and then I'm going to use this little brush. And try to do like a simple outline so I can have like a base to start. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming this part. It's, it's kind of hard to film, but I'll try. Okay guys, so here is the rough outline that I finished. Also guys, for this video, I'm not going to be filming like every single time I paint the squishy because that's going to take forever. So I'm just going to kind of like film some stuff and then update you guys on the process and yeah. Yeah, first off, I think I'm just going to mix skin color and then paint a little base on the face. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the base color for the hair. Okay guys, so I just finished some of the shadows um, as you can see and I think I want to actually do the details on the face. Um, I do want to do the hair last because it's the most detailed part out of this whole deco. So I think I'm going to outline the face first and I think I'm going to do that off camera because I really don't want to mess up 
because whenever I like deco on camera, it's not as good, so. Okay guys, so here's an update on the deco. So I did the blush on the face as you can see and now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the face by coloring in the eyes, the lips, as well as the eyelashes. And then we only have the outfit to do and the hair in the background of course. So here's the color palette I have for the eyes and I'm just going to make different shades of blue and just kind of fill it in and I also have a little bit of yellow because in the picture, her eyes had like a tint of yellow, so yeah. Hey guys, so the face is now complete and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the hair which is the most detailed part um, but first I think I'm gonna start off with the flowers and all of the accessories and then we'll move on to like the actual shading of the hair later. So here I kind of have the rough like outline for the hair and I just kind of did that with brown paint and, and now I'm going to use a lot of different colors to create details in the hair and I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming this part so I think I will update you guys once I'm done with this. guys so i'm back and it's been a couple of hours but i want to show you the progress on the deck so far and as you can see i colored in the hair it's a bit awkward so i'm just adding this wand here to kind of like hide the awkwardness i guess i just didn't like how her waves turned out so yeah i'm just gonna add this wand that she has in the anime and then for the background um i tried doing a couple of bubbles but I don't know how those are going, but yeah, that is an update on the deco. But I also added a lot of other details and accessories off camera, um, like this one right here and then her ruffle sleeves. 
as well as her jewelry right here i added her earrings and a little choker necklace but yeah i think i might just end here sorry i didn't get much footage today uh i was just kind of doing stuff off camera because i think i work better that way but i'll see you guys tomorrow to continue the deco Hello guys, so it's actually has been a while since I've updated you guys on the deco. I think it's been like two weeks actually. The reason why I haven't been working on it is because I've just been really busy. But I think I will continue it today. And here is what we have so far. I don't know when was the last time I updated and what you guys already saw. But um, I basically just need to do the crown. I need to fill in the little wand that I added and then the background. So you can see the background here, I attempted doing bubbles, but I don't know, like I might just fill it with colors, like maybe cute pastel colors. Hey guys, so now I'm going to be doing the background and I have these four different pastel colors that I mixed here. Hello guys, so today is actually the next day. It's May 13th today and I finally finished the front of the Sailor Moon Deco. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Or as you can see, I put on these little like glitter confettis and they look really pretty. I just kind of like put them on using Mod Podge. So that is the front and now for the back of the deco, I already painted it white. Um, I'm going to kind of use this as my inspiration. It's not going to look exactly like this um, because I'm not sure if I can like recreate the gradient and everything. Um, but it's going to be like the same style with like the sky and the two cats from Sailor Moon just sitting. So I think that's going to be really cute. So I'm going to be using some fabric paints. So I'm going to be using these two colors as well as... I have these two colors of acrylic paint and um, when I'm mixing this, I'm going to make sure that I have more fabric paint compared to acrylic because if I have too much acrylic paint, it's going to crack on the squishy. Hey guys, I am back and now I have about two coats of the paint on here. Um, I actually wanted to go ahead and try this. This is actually um, pink like iridescent powder and let me show you so it's just powder and then it's gonna like shift pink and I hope it works with fabric paint I'm just gonna try and I'm gonna try and mix them in the paint and try to paint with it to see if we can get any cool like sparkly effects just mix it up here
Okay, so it's giving me like a really cool effect, but the only problem is that the paint is pretty sheer, so I'm gonna have to do a few more layers in order to get like a full coating. Hello guys, so it's actually, today is May 27th and it's been a while since I've continued my um, deco progress for this deco trade, but I am back from my vacation now and I can finally continue, but I wanted to show you guys, I think this deco is pretty much finished and this is the back. Um, in the mail recently, I got these two and I'm really excited to use them. Are also, sorry, the weather is pretty gloomy today so that's why it's a little bit dark. But I got these two Sailor Moon, so I knew that I was going to make a Sailor Moon deco for my friend Jess. So I wanted to get a little like keychain to match it, so I got this one first. But then I came across this necklace, which I think is a lot prettier. really wanted to show you guys this very pretty um, little necklace charm that I just got. So yeah. So now that I've finished with the first deco, so I have like a little list of designs and I do want to make a Kirby design for, for our second deco. And I think I decided to go with this one right here. It's very cute. Um, I went ahead and roughly sketch out like the outlines on the squishy. But yeah, right now my camera is running low on battery. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue painting this and... I will be back to show you guys some like updated progress. Hello guys, here's an update on the deco. Um, as you can see, I just um, painted the background and also I did some shading on Kirby. Hello guys, so it's actually now later at night, it's 11 p.m. Still the same day, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue the deco. I'll try to finish it tonight if I can, but I just wanted to let you guys know because there's obviously um, a drastic change in lighting. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and time-lapse the rest of the 
stucco since I'm pretty much done like I only have to add some details or well, a lot of details and then also paint the back of it Hello guys, so it is now June 3rd and I finished both of these decos for a me and Jess deco trade and then I also made a tag for it earlier from Procreate. So here is the Sailor Moon one and here's the back and then here we have the Kirby one. And here's the back of the Kirby one. I have a lot of these packaging that I can use. And um, for this one, I think I'm going to be using maybe... So for the toast, I'm going to use some 6x9 repackaging. And then for, for the bun, I'm just going to use these ones from Daiso that I normally use to repackage all my buns in. Try to remove this here. Just gonna go ahead and measure it around to see how much we'll need. Right here. I'm gonna tie like that. Use oh, I'm gonna use the ones down here that I have. I kinda wanna also put some beads, so I have um, these two contain containers for beads, so maybe like, okay, maybe I want to use this pink star one and some, just some solid color beads like this. I'm going to try to match the theme of the deco. I'm going to use my pliers and make a little like loop at the end right here. So here it is. I kind of closed little loop and now I'm just gonna take a 
jump ring. Attach the jump ring to our little bead right like this. Put the ball chain through the tag that I made. And now we're going to close it. So whenever I'm at this step, I'm just going to go ahead and loop this in right here like that. And it's just going to kind of hang like this. Trying to make a nice one here. Okay, and then lastly, I'm just gonna go over the ribbon with a lighter very quickly so it doesn't fray. And make sure you do this quick or else it's gonna like burn off. Here is what the finished um, repackaged deco looks like. I really like how it turned out. And I like the beads and how it matches everything. So yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and um, repackage the Sailor Moon one. I'll fold it over and just tape it. I'm going to use this one. This one is super pretty and I really like the little like gem inside. For this one, I think to make it into a keychain, I'm going to have to cut off the chain here. I think I'm going to have to have the clasps and I'm going to use that so that um, just in case if she needs to repackage it, she can remove the charm. So I'm going to go ahead and um, remove this from here and then I'll attach it on. Basically making like a smaller necklace is what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are done and we just have a tinier necklace that can be open and closed. And now I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to this packaging. And here we go, we are done with our cute little keychain, and I think it looks super pretty. I think we're pretty much done with repackaging both of these squishies, and I will go ahead and squish them and show you guys the final results. So yeah. So here are both of the finished decos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just show you each one of them. Here's the Sailor Moon one. guys it's been a long time today's actually to june 17th and i actually already received my deco trade package from jess like a week ago or two ago but i've just been so busy that i haven't gotten a chance to ship her package yet but today i will finally be packing everything up um, i have all of her little items and gifts in here and these are the decos we're trading for right there um, but yeah, sorry if the lighting is not too good right now. It's kind of dark in my room right now, but hopefully it will get better as this video goes on. But I also already wrote her letter. I'm just going to have to gift wrap everything. I'm excited that it's finally going to go out, but by the time she's watching this, she's probably have already opened everything. I actually bought some packing materials. Um, so I bought these a while ago too, but... Um, I got these really cute wrapping paper and I just thought it was nice and pastel um, and then I got a lot of these little like confetti or like box filler. This vlog has probably already been all over the place but I don't know if I already showed these. I feel like I did but I'm just gonna show them again. Uh, so here are the decos that I made for our deco trade so we have this Kirby one, this Kirby bun, and for the back I just did really simple designs. Um, and then the other one is the Sailor Moon one with this cute charm. And then I also made her this one which I never showed yet but it's like a little um, Totoro, um, like I want to say bakery treat. I wanted to make it like kind of a bun. Um, yeah, and then there is also this little tag that I painted in. It's like matcha flavor, sort of. So, yeah, these are all the decos that I have. 
I'm gonna think of a way to wrap them up. Um, so maybe either using this or something else. I found these paper bags uh, that I have, and I think I'm gonna wrap the anime deco in this one, kind of like this. And then I can decorate the cover, maybe. I'm just gonna combine them like this. Okay, next I have a bunch of these little accessories that reminded me a lot of her, so I just bought them. And I think for these ones, I'm just gonna put them in this bag right here. It's clear, so she'll be able to see everything inside. And we also have these cute little bunny squishies. And these are pretty much the only squishies I got her. I hope that she didn't get one yet because I saw that she removed from her wish list. But um, it was pretty much the only ones I could find. But I'm just gonna wrap these in this. So we got some more miscellaneous items. Take this one as well. So I have a few more items to wrap. So I got Jess this cute pencil case because she loves Kuma the Kuma. And also this matching um so to go with it and I'm just gonna put it in here oh and I also have these um so these are little plushies and I think I'm not gonna be wrapping these just gonna be putting them in the box so we have the Mamakuma one or Rilakuma this one is so cute and then I also have this which is some um, Doraemon snacks I've got her this which I'm very excited about and it's um so cute so it's Right here, it's a little box, and then if you open it right here, it's like a little set of um, keychains, and I thought she would really like this because she loves to decorate her desk area, and hopefully she can like display these maybe, or like hang them around. Okay guys, so I just finished wrapping, I also finished Wrapping the pencil case right here. It's a little bit messed up at the back I also have this item which I'm very excited to be giving her and it's this cute little um, resin Shaker keychain and it has her name on it a cute little butterfly charm and then These little floaties inside Yeah, we're just gonna use this paper to wrap this up real quick and then we should be almost done with this package So this one I'm just going to put in this bag right here and it's a little curatory. guys it's me Mickey back here and this is probably going to be the last update I'm giving for this whole video but it is actually now 
26th of June and by this time both me and Jess we've already received our deco trade packages and we've already opened them um, I did open mine off camera because I was too excited but I'm going to be showing you guys what I got today okay so she gifted me a lot of things and it came in a really big box and um, everything was wrapped super nicely and they all had cute little notes on them like this and again since I've already opened everything I kind of just kept the notes in one place but anyways um she also wrote me a note and it comes in this cute little letter or envelope it's just a super nice note that jess wrote me okay so i do want to start off by showing all of the non-squishy items that jess gifted me they are um we both really love sailor moon as you know because i did a sailor moon deco for her but this is so pretty so this one is gray with this design and then this one is white with this design actually already opened it but i just kind of repackaged it for this video then next she also gifted me some face masks um this one which is super colorful and then we have this donut one we have some really cute stickers these are so cute so we have these bunny ones that are like pink theme we have this penguin one and then also some rilakkuma one as well and then here we have these three pens and I actually have a lot of cute pens, so I can add this to my little collection. But we have this one of No Face, and then this little piggy one, and then this one is actually from iBloom. Stationery, we also have these My Neighbor Totoro um, tape, and they're so cute. Some chopsticks, and look, look at the note on this one. It says, I saw these in the Korean grocery store and thought you'd like them. And it says, hashtag noodle queen. I love spicy noodles, and I love the little shiba inus on there. There are four different colors, and I can't wait to use them. Thank you so much, Jess. I also have this little gachapon. And it's a Sailor Moon as well. And this is the one that I got. It is Sailor Moon in a little pink um, suit, which is so cute. And I don't know if there's... Oh, yeah, there is a stand for it. And then we also have some snacks. Look at these. It says some of my favorite snacks from the Korean grocery store. Really pretty mother garden chocolate box. And oh my goodness, I love this so much. It's so realistic and it's just so fancy looking. And it makes me want to eat it, but it is just some squishies. But it is really nice to squish. And they all have this like velvety material, if you could tell. Okay, then we have some more pink squishies that just bought for me. And I love them. So we have this little cookie and then it's this monster cookie. And this one is from iBloom. They're both from iBloom. And here it is. It's a very thin squishy, but it's super slow. And I am in love with it. It's really nice. So, and then she also gifted me this one, which is the Hamster Cutie Donut. Um, I love this so much. It was on my wish list, and she was trying to get me my wish list items. So this was one of them, and it's so, so cute. I love the color combination as well. And then next, we got a bunch of these little mini squishies. So let me show them real quick. We have some Rilakkuma and Kurilakkuma ones. A bread. Another one. This one actually looks like one of the milk breads that I buy from like the Japanese supermarket. French toast. This one which is like a bun. And I think I can like put it on top and reach. This is a nice yellow steam bun. I love steam bun squishies. Okay, so the last two squishies that are not deco like squishies are these two. And oh my gosh, I am so happy. Guys, look at these. They are so cute. And I can't believe she bought them for me. Um, they've been on my wish list and I was really excited about getting them. So thank you so much, Jess, for gifting these to me. Here it is, and I actually already repackaged them and everything, but I'm just putting them back in the box just so that, you know, it looks good for this video. It comes with this little piece of paper, and I have no idea what this says, but there it is. And then here is the squishy. It is so, so cute, and it's actually a pretty big size. It's like a jumbo. Um, I believe is producing a mini version of these, but these are a really nice size to squish. 
and oh my gosh guys this has such good texture it's i really recommend it it's super super nice and like doughy okay and then let me go ahead and show you guys the kitty i don't want to keep rambling on for too long because this video is probably already very long but we have this kitty and this one actually didn't come with the little skirt i actually made that um and I just put it on. But here's the kitty squishies. It has really cute blue eyes. And it's also like sparkly as well. I'm just going to give it a squish. As you can see, it is super soft and really slow rising. Now, of course, last but not least, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the deco squishies that I got from Jess, which are the items that she made for me for this deco trade. This one, and it is a surprise deco because she felt bad that she couldn't make me a kawaii character. So, yeah, but it comes in this really cute box and it's like a little surprise. I already know what it is, but again, I'm just putting it back to in the box so that everything is, you know, a little more exciting. But here it is. Oh my gosh. So this little guy right here, I, again, do not know how to pronounce his name correctly. It also is glittery. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a glittery finish to it, which is super pretty. And I am obsessed with it. And then this is Boba on the back. And we also have her adorable tag with a bell right there. I'm in love with this. It's super, super cute. Anime one, so we each did an anime character for each other. And here's the one that Jess made me. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I am still shocked, like, looking at this now. Um, I remember how speechless I was when I was opening it. But this is um, Demon Slayer, Tanjiro, and Nezuko. And look at this design, it looks so adorable, oh my goodness, like look at her grabbing the little grapefruit or orange, I'm not sure. Guys, look at the details, oh my goodness, like the design on her kimono, and like even his little um, scar right here looks so good. And then, that's not all, there's also the back, oh my gosh, so we sent each other like inspiration photos, and I also sent some koi fish pictures because I love koi fish and she painted me this super pretty um koi fish design and love all the colors so much it looks so magical and uh again i want you guys to see all of the details on this one but yeah and then it this also came with the tag that matches the deco of course guys and now for the last deco which this one i was the most shocked because i was not expecting it at all so again we decided to trade for um an anime character and a sailor moon character but this was the third one or the second one oh my gosh look at this oh my goodness i am still obsessed with it it looks so so good and this is um, Chanu of Astro. And this is so, so good. Jess told me that she'd never done this style before of like painting humans. But this looks so good. Like look at the details. Again, she nailed it. I am obsessed. And then this is the back design of it. It has the little like finger heart. Um, but here it is. And then we also have the tag. It says Astro, and then it says Be Your Star, and I'm just in love with this. She really did all of her research because it says Be Your Star and everything. And then we also have the same Code Squishies tag and a little bell as well. And all of these decos must have taken really, really long. So Jazz, if you're watching this, thank you so much for doing this deco trade with me and I'm so so happy to finally being able to own not one, not two, but three of your decos. And yeah, of course, make sure you guys go check out her Instagram and all of her decos. She posts every single deco that she does on her feed and that's 
going to be it for this video guys it's been a long and fun video and it's i believe i've been filming this video for maybe over two months now but it's been really fun and i'm so glad that i was able to do this deco trick just but thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys on my next one bye